various reasons. What are we going to see? Well, we thought we were going to be able to see it at Omsi, and then we looked today, which I was really excited for, because we were actually seeing a movie at Omsi, and then we looked today, and it was back of the theater. But we're going to go see Coco, which I really want to see in theaters. I like the storyline of it. It looked visually just gorgeous. So I'm actually really excited for this. I like animated movies, so... And it's one of the last showings, so we're going to it today. I've heard that it's a good movie. I mean, that's by parents that have kids, but I still have heard it's a good movie. Uh, like she said, the music and the visuals are supposed to be good, so I'm excited for it. Yeah, it kind of sucks we're going back to Regal 10, but at this point, once we get out of all these old movies, which we've only got about six, seven more after this, we won't hopefully have to come back here. And a lot of those ones are actually still in the main theaters. So hopefully we'll get it done soon, but we'll tell you what we think when we're done. Excited to see what it looks like. Hello. Hi. She's agreeing not to crash us because her little Honda Fit swishes back and forth in the wind and it's windy. We're it's over the to, bridge. Yep. We're going, the bridge of gods. going from Vancouver, which is or Washington, us, Washington, 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 Oregon. Yeah. Anyway, just got out of seeing Coco. I love that movie. And not even made you admit it, I had a few tears. That was probably one of the best movies, animated movies I've seen in a while. Storyline was cool. The heritage in it, the Dio, Le, Dio de la Morte stuff in it was cool. Uh, the story behind it, the twist at the end, what you spoilers? Basically, okay, we should explain the movie first. I'm getting ahead of myself. So basically, there's whoa, sorry, you just took a dive. Anyway, you probably saw her crotch and saw my crotch <laughs> up close. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. So the story's of the little boy who really wants to play music and sing, and basically is fanboying over this, what's his name? Ernesto something. Er, Ernesto de la Cruz. Anyway, he's supposed to be this big singer, and the entire family that he lives with tells a story about how his great, 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 great grandma basically husband, boyfriend, whatever, was a singer and left him at a young age, and so this entire family doesn't listen to music, won't let anybody near it, and this little, the great-great-grandkid obviously likes to sing and has a thing for music, and so it's the story of him basically in the beginning, he's trying to prove himself, and he tries to steal the guitar of this famous singer, who he thinks at this point is his grandpa. He thinks great, like this great, 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 great grandpa, pretty much. He gets swept up into the afterworld. The afterworld, dead life, whatever you want to say it. Finds all of his old relatives, and basically there's this big journey of him trying to get back home and get a blessing. Because in order to go back, you got to get a blessing to go back, and his family won't give him a blessing to go back and play he music. Means, basically, all the women that were all his family since the great your grandpa's left who are really against it so he goes on this big adventure to find his great grandpa or great great grandpa ends up finding this guy who helps him this rickety guy that you're like the whole time is probably a thief or something and at the end it's pretty kid twist he meet, he finds his great grandpa and the, the guy who's been helping him shows up and basically tells the kid, you know, that this dude has taken, the famous guy has taken all his music, and they end up figuring out that Ernesto de la Cruz actually murdered him, and that's why he got famous, he murdered him for all his music. Well, you end up figuring out the little boy is actually his great-great-grandfather is the one that's been with them the entire time. Now, in their storyline, you have to put the picture on the mantle to be remembered, and he's slowly getting forgotten. He does meet back up with his wife and explains the fact that he got his he got murdered because of it and he was on the way back to him and his daughter so they kind of reconcile and then at the real end of the movie he loses the picture and he goes back to the real world with the daughter who's still alive and he sings her the song that he wrote for her which is one of Ernesto's biggest hits and she basically remembers him and they put him on the thing and of course happy ending they all sing music and they're all able to come Ernesto de la Cruz is basically no more everybody knows everybody knows that he was somehow well the so they show that coco his daughter ended up keeping a bunch of letters she wrote to him and in the letters it's all the lyrics from actually the music that ernesto stole and used so at the end of the movie they show a newscast or show in the family's house saying found letters to coco the daughter showing that all of ernesto's music was stolen from hector the actual singer and maker that you have that switched out 
Hector was the great great grandpa, Ernesto was the Tia. Ernesto stole yeah, it. She had a, never mind, we're not arguing. But she knows what she meant, she just switched the names around. Anyway, it ended up good. The whole world ended up figuring it out at the end. Like I, I said, I like the music in it. I like the storyline in it. The animation and the scenery in it was awesome. I really wanted to see that movie in theater, so I was actually really, really, really excited we got to go tonight. And I, I really, really, really liked it. Yeah, I, I think, like I said, as far as Disney movies go, Disney Picture is probably one of my favorites come out so far in a while. The music in it was really cool. The heritage in it, I mean, I hate to be blunt, but Disney doesn't do a great job of uh, bringing different cultures and diversity into stuff. And to the fact that this movie kind of, you know, you're used to seeing the typical princess, princess thing or all white characters. It, the fact that they went to a different culture in this one and brought the Mexican culture and it was really cool. Storyline was gay, twist at the end was great, and of course, happy ending with good music, so. I will say Disney's doing a little bit better when they brought Tiana with the African-American, you know, Elsa and Anna, it wasn't that they were a prince, it was their story. Moana, again, it was her on her own adventure saving it, so they've kind of taken it away from the whole everyone must have a prince at the end, and the prince is the one that saves them, which is good. But like she said, I really like the heritage. Uh, we were in Spanish class for a lot of years, and that was always one of my favorite holidays. I really wanted to go to Costa Rica when they were doing it one year. So it was really cool to see that. I like the storyline tied in pretty well. Um, yeah, it, there wasn't too much singing like there usually is Disney music besides evidently his music, which was quite interesting for a Disney Pixar movie. But it was Disney Pixar, and Pixar is not always known for the musical side of things. Good movie. But yeah, good movie. If you guys haven't seen it and you like animated movies, I definitely recommend going to see this. Probably, like I said, one of my top favorites. Visuals in it alone were great. When I went into this, I knew it, but we said the visuals were really good. They didn't lie. I really did like this movie. So, I don't really have anything else to say. I just like this movie. That's all I can say multiple times. I will say from the movies we've seen recently... I know I'm a big kid, but this one in Peter Rabbit has been one of my favorites. Fifty Shades of Green I like, but I had issues with it because I read the books, but I still like the story. And probably, honestly, if I hadn't read the books at one point, I probably wouldn't have gone to see the movie, so it was just kind of a finished thing. Uh, star Wars until last night, watched that review. It was okay, but it was Star Wars. I really do like animated movies or horror. That's kind of weird for me to say, but it's true. I know they're a complete spectrum. Do Look this up, you guys. It's actually a proven fact. My niece helped me point this out to my dad, too. You have the same emotions when you are scared that you do when you are happy. So it releases the same endorphins. In fact, she did a whole book report and had to put out that if you watch the original Text Chainsaw Massacre, do you know you can burn 150 calories? I didn't. But she's a good backup for that one. Um, tomorrow, we're doing the whole split thing. So we'll again shoot videos before and after individually and upload those tomorrow night um after this we're pretty much seeing the same exact movies but i think she had the list up to april 13th of movies we have to see so that's as of today right it was april 12th as of yesterday so i know i think the only one that we want the at least i want to see that's on on there is um uh, Truth or Dare is a new horror movie that looks pretty good, and I also want to see Rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Those both came out yesterday, yeah, Friday the list as of. But yes, I did the list as of up to Friday the 12th. So everything we're kind of, you guys have heard this now 18 times, but we're working from release date in the past to the present so that we can see them all. Eventually, it would be nice to get caught up because like Coco and Peter Rabbit, if I would have seen them before we were caught up, I definitely would have gone to see those movies again in a heartbeat. So it kind of sucks now not being able to go back, but once we get to the caught up stage, which will still be a while because I think on the list we still have about 14 movies we want to see. And I don't mean to be rude, but this will go into movies every night. Maybe when they get closer it'll be less of a thing, but it's getting exhausting. So I'm enjoying myself. Still. I'm not having it's not like it's, I'm bored or I don't like the movies. It's just more of having to do it's a it every night. Waste of gas. Waste of gas. It's, it's, when you do something like this where you're constantly going out, you know, for us it still lives at home, you know, even our parents and everyone started to complain they don't see us a lot, that we're always out, and it's just because we're always going to movies, which that's what we do when we're at home, but it's different, so like she said, when we catch back up, you know, I think the movie after the next two we have to watch, 
they're all like start division right near us so that'll be nice even if we're going to a movie every night it'll only be 10 to 15 minutes away instead of driving 35 40 minutes out to vancouver so yeah but honestly we've said it before but we like century 16 but if all of them were cheap i don't really see a thing i know you know cinetopia cinetopia which is cool can we use it at the sandy theater we should look into that i really yes, like that can. theater oh cool. yes we can but anyway to wrap this up coco was an a plus plus Really did like the movie. Obviously, she agreed. A plus if you haven't plus. seen it, go see this movie. Or fairly least, it's definitely by the DVD. You will enjoy it. Even if you're not in that religion, even if you don't know anything about the music and the animation, the colors, the visualization, I really want to see this movie. So I am so glad we got to see it. I'm so really pumped about it because it was, it was adorable. If I could, I'd go watch it now again. But I can only go to one movie a day. We thought about that, going to see it again. But hopefully it's not out of theaters too soon or it'll be on DVD soon and then we can. So until the next review, see you later. See you later. Signing off.